Hey guys, I am back with another wonderful edition of our soup series, and today it is all about my loaded baked potato soup. Now I have to tell you, this is a little more on the indulgent side, but it mixes a ton of amazing flavors and I think you're really going to love it. So it all starts with some bacon. I've got about four slices happening here. When it comes to loaded baked potatoes, bacon is sort of a given ingredient. Once that bacon is cooked, my friends, it's time to get it the heck out of the pan and start on some more deliciousness. What we have left behind is a whole lot of bacon flavor, and that is going to be the base of our soup. If you're not using bacon in this recipe, this would be melted butter. To our bacon fat, we are going to add some all-purpose flour, and we're just going to whisk this mixture until it starts to become brown in color. This is called a roux, and it's gonna help thicken our soup later on. We're just trying to cook off that floury flavor. After about a minute, once we've reached a nice nutty brown color, we're going to add some chicken broth, you could also use vegetable broth here, and some milk. If you want to keep this on the lighter side, go ahead and use skim milk. If you want to make it richer, by all means, 2% will definitely work. And we are going to whisk this away and heat all of this yumminess up. And what happens next? Potatoes. Russet potatoes are perfect for this recipe because they're actually what you use for a classic baked potato. I'm going to season this up with some salt and some pepper, put my lid on and turn my heat down to medium low. I'm going to simmer these for between 20 and 25 minutes or until my potatoes are cooked through. And when it's done, it looks something like this. Once our potatoes are cooked through, you have two options. You can either leave the soup chunky as is, or you can use an immersion blender to blend this mixture until it's smooth. Immersion blenders are so next level in a situation like this. It's kind of crazy. Now that our soup is ready, it's time to load it up. We're going to do this by adding some sour cream, some shredded cheddar cheese, our cooked bacon, and some green onion. We're going to stir this all together until the sour cream and cheese have melted completely, and then it is ready to serve. It's like a baked potato <laughs> put through a puree. It's kind of amazing. I definitely think the cheese has taken it way over the top. I like to serve it with a little bit of extra shredded cheddar cheese, some more bacon, and of course, our finely diced green onion. This is a stick to your ribs kind of soup and perfect for a cold autumn evening. I really hope you'll give it a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. And if there are any other soup recipes you'd like to see in our soup series, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.